We have already learned about Chroma DB vector database, and one of the popular vector database is the Facebook AI Similarity Search or FAISS. It is an open source library developed by Facebook Research. It provides efficient algorithms and methods for searching large collections of dense vector. Let's see how this FAISS works. First, I am going to load document. I will write here from Langchain underscore community dot document loaders import text loader because I am going to load a text file. I will make an object loader and then I will call this text loader. Inside this, I am going to pass my text file name that is state of the union dot text and then I am also going to pass encoding is equal to UTF-8. This I am passing because I was facing error while loading this text file. It is not necessary that you need to pass this encoding. You can skip if it is if it works without this parameter and then I'm going to make an object of this loader by calling the method load I will write here documents and then I will call loader and from this load method and then I will print documents here and here in the output you can see that this is our text document you can see we have this page content and this is nothing but a speech from the President of the United States of America. Now I am going to create chunks of this entire text document. For that I will import character text splitter from Langchain underscore text splitters import character text splitter. So when you want to create chunks, you will have to use this character text splitter. Now I'm going to make an object of this character text splitter. I will write here text splitter is equal to character text splitter and inside this I'm going to pass two parameter. The first is chunk size and let's say I want to give it 1000 you can give any number it depends whether you want to create a small chunk or a large chunk but usually you have to create an optimal chunk and the second one is chunk overlap and this I'm going to put it at zero that means there are no chunks that are overlapping here now I am going to create chunk of our documents by passing our documents into this text splitter and call a method split documents. I will make an object text and then I will call this text splitter here. And from this there is a method that we have to use on text document and that method is split underscore documents and then we have to pass our documents. So I will write here documents that we imported above. So this document and now this will create chunks for us. Let us execute our code. It says that created a chunk of size 2046 which is longer than the specified 1000. I said that I want a chunk size of 1000 but this text splitter found that it is a good idea to create a chunk size of 2046. That is why it created this number and it says that it is greater than what I have defined. So we can go ahead with this one because from this uh, function or from this class it is assumed that the chunk size 2046 is much better for this entire text document. Now the second part comes 
embeddings so first you have to create chunks second you have to embed these chunks so let's do that i will write here from langchain underscore community dot embeddings there are different types of embedding models available in langchain one of them is open ai and if you want to use a free one then you can use hugging face up and there are other embedding model as well but we are going to use hugging face embeddings i will call here hugging face embeddings or i'm going to import this hugging face embeddings i will write here import hugging face embeddings now i'm going to create an object of this embedding class i will write here embedding is equal to hugging face embeddings and it will start creating embeddings for us it can take up to a minute let's wait for it so now you see that it has created embeddings and i can also print it here so these are the characteristic of this embedding so we have this transformer then pooling normalize and model name the model that we are using to create this embeddings so what we have done first we have load our text file second we have created chunks third we have done the embeddings of these chunks that we haven't done yet but we are going to do after importing this or after creating this embedding object and before that uh, what we will do we will create embeddings and save it in this FAISS vector database so nothing but this Facebook AI similarity search vector database so let's create embedding and save it in this vector database from langchain underscore community dot vector stores import f a i s s now i'm going to create an object of this vector store and save it in a variable db i will write here db and then f a i s s from this i will call the method from documents and inside this i will pass our chunks that are stored in text and this embedding model that is embeddings to create embeddings of this text here and let us execute our code next i will create a retriever that will help us to get relevant documents i will make a variable retriever and then from this database object i will call the method as underscore retriever and now let us start retrieving important uh, uh, important documents from this text and get our answers i will make one variable docs and then i will call this retriever from this i will call the method get relevant documents and now i will pass my question here i will write my question is what is about veterans in the speech now i will print it i will just write here docs and here in the output you can see that we got the result here page content so here we have third support our veterans now let me print it in a, a clear way or in a nice format i will write here print then docs at the rate zero index then dot page underscore content now here in the output you can see so i asked what is about veterans in the speech and here in the output you see third support our veterans veterans are the best of us i have always believed that we have a sacred obligation to equip 
all those we sent to war and care for them and their families when they come home and so on. So we got the correct output for our question about veterans. Now there is one more parameter that we can pass in this retriever. So if I go back here, so there is something called uh, maximum marginal relevance that you can pass as a parameter and for that you will write here search underscore type is equal to MMR that is maximum marginal relevance and I will execute this code again. So now here also you will see the output. So you pass this parameter when you want to get more accurate results and this parameter is available as, uh, as, as a parameter in this function. You can use it to get even a more better output. And then we can also pass some other question. Uh, let's say that and uh, one more thing if I talk about this uh, function retriever. So if I tell you the parameters of this so it says that you will have something so you, you get in the output uh, you know uh, some values by default it will be like four relevant documents that you get and that means here instead of zero I can type one and I will get some different answer so now the answer is a unity agenda for the nation we can do this and so on so you get by default four outputs so if I write here four so it says index list index out of range so it starts from zero to three that is we get four outputs here and that is why I have right here zero so this is the first one and whatever output you get at the zero index is the most relevant or is the most correct answer for your question so by default you get four output and you can change the parameter of k so if i change this parameter um, let me just check here from retriever so yeah here and if i pass one parameter search underscore quarks is equal to i have to pass a dictionary k is to 1. Now I will get only one output. So at 0 I, I got the output and if I make it 1 I should get an error. So it says list index out of range. So you can use this parameter to define how many number of relevant documents that you want to fetch and uh, let's say you can make it let's say 2 so now if I do 1 I get the output here and if I make it 2 then I will get an error so list index out of range so you can also play around with this k parameter and you can also change your quotient to get relevant answer from your documents so this is about FAISS vector database how you can use it I hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching